Applying for master's degree is often a daunting task and time-consuming and need to carefully plan. You explore the universities for the master's course you are interested in. Once you successfully find the right course, then it's question about funding. So who will fund your study? If you are a self-sponsor, then the things become much easier. If you are not capable of self-sponsoring your study, then it sucks and that point of time you must become self-motivated and same thing happened with me. Hey, I am Santosh and this is Sivri. So on today's topic, I am going to share my study preparations for a master's in the Netherlands in water engineering. Basically, you need not to worry about the funding. If you are interested to do the master's in water engineering or environmental engineering or natural resource management, due to global importance of this field, uh, many developed countries are willing to offer funds for your study. So what motivates me to do the master's in uh, water resource? So back in 2000, as a civil engineer, I started my first full-time job as a water resource engineer in a grassroots level NGO and involved in many foreign funded water projects. The projects I had been involved like rural water supply and sanitation projects and integrated watershed development projects for a rural sector in state of Maharashtra in India. After spending four years in a grassroots level organization, I got an opportunity to work for a private water management consulting organization and I did work there almost five years. So I thought that why not to learn more about water engineering in depth by enrolling a master's degree to have a better future and move ahead uh, with a unique skill set in water sector which can be helpful to get a better job and set up my future business or something else which I could possibly involve myself. So why did I choose abroad study option? Initially I thought of doing masters in India only and was exploring the options in Indian universities but there was no chance that somebody would offer me a full scholarship for the master's degree and which turned out to be true based on my initial search and my own requirements. Later when I went on exploring the study options abroad and brainstorming my thought process, I thought that study abroad is a must for international exposure and networking with international minds in water sector, making like-minded friends globally and eventually to build a self-confidence. So my search for universities abroad starts here. So how did I choose right water course? I started exploring all the universities in United States, Europe, Australia and UK but wherever I was trying to apply for the course there was always difficulty in finding a scholarship. Then I came across a water institute in the Netherlands known as IHE Delft. I was amazed to see the ample of water courses in one umbrella and that too in partnership with United Nations and Dutch government. So choosing the right course was a difficult task and confusing at the same time and looking at my current experience in water engineering includes water transport and distribution. It wasn't a big task to choose the right course but I was also looking at other interesting courses as well in case if I want to gain more diversified career in water sector itself. Even I was thinking of doing hydroinformatics but due to little computer programming knowledge I just put it off that plan. Uh, the other courses weren't matching with my current work experience so I decided to stick with the one which was very close to my work experience. So if you are planning to do the water course in this institute then think wisely and plan accordingly and choose the right course for yourself as it may create a confusion and land up by choosing wrong course structure. And I think one can switch to other courses uh, from your current course which you had enrolled at the time of application. You can make a request to the course coordinator or fellowship officer and needs prior approval. Though I'm not quite sure about it, you may inquire at the institute and clarify your confusion. So what about scholarship? The next question would be in your mind is that what about the funding or scholarship for this master's degree? How did I get it? There are various region-wide scholarship options available and choose the right one depending upon your region like Asia, Africa, Latin America, MENA region, that is Middle East and North Africa. When you start exploring the courses, you would find the scholarship options mentioned in their website. 
as I was from India, so I applied for the Netherlands Fellowship Program (NFP) and World Bank Scholarship at the same time. And finally, I have been awarded fully funded NFP, including airfare to and fro, living expenses, and tuition fees, which was a great deal. And I never imagined that I wasn't selected for the prestigious World Bank Scholarship. So yeah, that's all. And this was my story in this short video. If you have your own story to share, please comment down below. Thank you for watching, and let me know what do you think.